finally for us tonight, we have another installment in our new series, East Side Stories, from our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post. Five library branches have shut down in East Buffalo over the past 20 years, possibly pushing readers to local bookstores. Problem is, there aren't many. One to be exact. Reporter Ejaz Jasil features the small shop that's helping in a big way. You can find bookstores in the suburbs, like this Barnes & Noble on Niagara Falls Boulevard in Amherst. In the city, you'll find a number of independent bookstores. There's Talking Leaves on Elmwood Avenue and Burning Books on Connecticut Street, to name a few. But there are no full-time general interest bookstores on Buffalo's east side. Zawadi Books, here on Jefferson Avenue, is writing a different chapter in this story. The store is open three days a week, selling books and materials that are largely by and about people of African descent. At the time, there was really nobody selling books, certain books on African American history. So what we wanted to do is show the positive side of African American history and culture. His wife, a former librarian, co-owns the bookstore. The community appreciates the fact that we are here. Even more so because the closing of five library branches in the early 2000s means Eastside residents have reduced access to books. And when economic segregation occurs, which is also coupled, of course, with uh, racial segregation, um, you will often find a very limited access to books. The impact of library closures continues. It does still cause some hardship when you talk about young kids who cannot come unaccompanied or elders, you know, who would have trouble walking any distance to, to get there. Kenneth Holly noted that a new library opened on Jefferson after the five east side branches were closed, but a gap remains. It's a book desert, but you also have the Mary with the library down the block, and you have the bookstore here. But that's just one part of the east side. On the other parts of the east side, there's nothing. Last year, the Hollies had a hand in helping gather books for a book club formed by Zanetta Everhart and her son Zaire Goodman after the top shooting. Everhart agrees that books are essential in helping educate children and adults alike. Everyone loves knowledge. Everyone loves education. Everyone loves understanding and insight, and, and that's what books provide. The number of Black-owned bookstores is dwindling nationwide, but the Hollies tell me their business is secure because their store is fulfilling a need in the community. For Channel 2 News, I'm Ejaz Jasil with Investigative News.